Hi everyone, it's Nicole and today I'm going to be doing my yarn haul video. I had said that I was going to do this video pretty soon. This was my surprise for everyone. So let me show you everything that I bought. Um, the company that I bought all of this yarn from is Eat Sleep Knit. I bought it online at eatsleepknit.com and there's periods in between eat, sleep, and knit. Um, the reason why I bought this online as opposed to going into, oh sorry, I got an itch, as opposed to going to an actual place is that my local LYS, my local yarn store, um, did shut down quite a few months ago and unfortunately they just, they decided to move and no one bought it. So I don't have a local yarn store in my area that supplies the more um, luxurious yarns as opposed to Michaels, which I do have a Michaels, but... And I do go there. I just prefer to have a little bit more expensive yarn sometimes, as does everyone. So here is my yarn. Yay! Are you guys excited? I'm excited. Okay. So the first thing I bought was I bought three skeins of this, and it's Madeline Tosh Sock Yarn. And this is in Corbett's Green. It is absolutely stunning. Stunning! As Chef Ramsay would say. Absolutely stunning beautiful. So I bought three skeins of this um, with Madeline Tosh sock yarn. It is, or Tosh sock as they call it. It's 395 yards. So I bought three of these so that I could work on a pattern. Yay! It smells wonderful. I love the smell of yarn. I, I have to sniff it. And let's see, what else did I buy? I, I bought a lot of Madeline Tosh this time. This time I was really feeling it. So um, Madeline Tosh, the next thing I bought was Tosh DK and it's in the colorway Jade. And I bought this for a hat pattern that I saw that had sprouts coming up on the side and then a little leaf emblems and it looked like it was springy and so I bought something that would remind me of that as well. And it is just as vibrant as it's showing up on here as it is when you see it in person. It's just beautiful. And with Tosh DK you get 225 yards. So got a pretty good size amount of that. What else did I get? What else did I get? Oh, okay. And then I also bought another DK weight of Tosh DK and it is in the Nebula colorway. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. It's It just was calling to me. The colors have been calling to me for a while. I often just stalk that website just to look at the yarn. Just to like window shopping, only online yarn shopping, not really window shopping. Um, this was one of, oh, cat hair, whoops. This is one of the ones that I've been eyeing for a while now, and it is just, just so beautiful. Can't stand it. Okay, and what else did I buy? This was one that I bought purely just because the yarn was pretty. <laughs> There's a couple of those in here. And so it's Madeline Tosh, and this is Tosh Sock as well, and this is Cathedral. It just, it looks like stained glass to me. It's just so beautiful. I'm excited to knit with it and see how it turns out. But I just, I love the purples and the slight shifts to brown. It's just, it's so, so pretty. I just, I like it so much. I'm excited. Okay, and I think, I think that was it for all of the Madeline Tosh I bought. So let's get into the other stuff that I bought that is not, that is not Madeline Tosh. Okay, the next one is something that I have been eyeing for a while as well. Um, I've been interested in this yarn before and I've never been able to purchase it. It's always out of stock on their website or if it's not, it's in a, the colorways that I want are always out of stock. So um, this time they had one left of this one color and I've been looking at this color for a while and they didn't have it in the sock weight but they had it in their sport weight so I bought it because I thought well why not, maybe I can do something with that. And it is Cephalopod Yarns and this is in Bugga. And the colorway is called Blue Tailed Damselfly. And it is just so beautiful. I just, I love the blues, the ocean blues and teals that run through it. It's very, very vibrant and so soft. It's 70% um, merino and 20% cashmere and 10% nylon. So it is just, oh my gosh, 
it's just so soft I don't know what I'm gonna do with it because I don't want to put it on my feet I want it to be up near my face so I can just feel it all the time it's so pretty I, I snuggle with my yarns just so you know and let's see what else did I buy oh this was one that I bought just because I like the colors I've never worked with this yarn before I had never seen this yarn before until I started just shopping for what I was actually gonna purchase and this is by Skein, and it's um, skeinyarn.com, and it's from Australia, apparently. And the colorway is called Mangrove. And the reason I bought it was because I saw this color next to this color in the monitor and thought, oh my gosh, I need to own this now. It is just so pretty with those bright, bright oranges and rust colors next to the really pretty ocean blues and the dark, dark blues that you get back here. And it even kind of looks like purpley, purpley brown. So I'm very excited to see what this looks like when it's knit up. Or even when I just wind it into a cake or if I put it into a ball. Whatever I do with this, I'm just, I'm so excited. This, and it's so soft too. This one was another one that I was shocked at because I didn't really pay attention to what the fiber weight was. I was just more concerned with like... I guess I was concerned with the yards and I was concerned with the looks. That was about it. I didn't really pay attention to what it was actually made of. I was not feeling that that day, I guess. And this is 80% merino and 20% cashmere. So I think I was going on a cashmere kick too because a lot of this has cashmere. And let's see. The next one that I bought was something that I have one other skein of. But I, it's in a different colorway, and I've never used it before, but the first time I felt it, I knew I needed to own more of this. And it's by Handmaiden Fine Yarn, and this is Casbah Sock, and this is in the colorway Tundra. And this is something that I thought about buying the first time, and I ended up going with a different color. So I would, oh, it's falling apart. So I'm glad that I purchased this one, because I had been looking at it for a while. I just I love the blues. I, I'm in the, I'm into the like dark blues apparently today. This lovely blue with this gold. It's just it's so pretty. And this one is also 81% merino, 9% cashmere, and 10% nylon. And it is super soft. It's just it feels cool to the touch. So this might be something that I use um, maybe more towards fall when it's still kind of warm in my area so that I could wear it during the day and then at night it would keep me warm so so excited about this one so excited and let's see the next thing I bought was something that I've never also I've never worked with this yarn either and it's Manos del Uruguay and it's Alegra I think it's Alegria or something along those lines um, and it's from the World Fair Trade Organization and it is in the colorway Carnival and I just I could not oh it's falling apart I could not believe the colors when I saw them on my monitor it was just so pretty I just love how vibrant this is and I don't own anything nearly this vibrant so I was very excited to buy this and hopefully it doesn't bleed too much when I wash it but I have a really nice wool wash so um, whenever, whatever I knit up, I'm going to make sure I soak it for a really long time and make sure it doesn't bleed because I don't want to ruin all of these gorgeous colors that are all running through this beautiful skein. It's just, oh, and that sky blue next to that really bright fuchsia and purple. I like this one. It's the only one that I bought that's really, really vibrant. Everything else is just kind of mellowy, lots of blues and greens, so... I'm excited about that one. And let's see, this one I bought and it is from Sweet Georgia and so it's Sweet Georgia Yarns and this is Tough Love Sock. I have worked with this before and I found it really hard on my hands and on my knuckles but I couldn't resist when I saw this colorway. It's called um, Blood Orange and the reason I couldn't resist it was because of these fiery yellows that run through this red and the oranges it's just it just reminds me of curling up next to a fire it's just it's so pretty and vibrant so I was really excited to own this and I don't know what I'm gonna make with this either but it's just I love how you just see these really bright yellowy oranges running through this so this was another one that I thought I needed to own because it was just so pretty 
And the last two things I bought are the same yarns. I'm going to put my box down because it's a big box. Um, this was one that I decided on last minute. I changed from having more Madeline Tosh DK to trying Malabrigo. I've tried it one other time and I loved it, but I wasn't super crazy about it because it was just, it didn't have any plies to it. It was just single spin and it was, I want to say, um, what was it called? I don't remember the name, but it was definitely more than worsted weight. It was chunky and I liked it and I still have some left over, but I wanted to try something with more of a ply. So I went with Malabrigo Rios and this is the Marte colorway. And so I get 210 yards with this. And I just like how dark and red and smoky this is. And I'm glad I bought it because now feeling it, it is very soft and I can see how people are obsessed with this yarn. And so I bought two skeins of it. This one's actually a little bit more reddish than this one. Um, but you can see kind of the color changes from this dark, smoky, black coal color to the really nice red brick colors. So I think I'm going to make this for my Kevin. He's going to get something. Maybe we can each get a hat out of it or... Um, I don't know, maybe he can get something else. We'll see. But this was intended for him after I decided to do all my shopping. And that is it for my yarn. That was everything I bought. I should probably put it away. I want to touch it some more. Touch it some more. You got white Nicole, ghost Nicole. Um, so that, yeah, that was all the yarn that I bought and I am very excited. I put it in my stash earlier and just to see how it looks and I loved it so because I have my bookcase I have a shelf dedicated just for yarn and one side has all of my yarn that I bought from Knit Picks for a blanket it's the hue shift blanket in the decor colorway and I, I or the decor set I guess and it's very very pretty and then on the other side I have all of my really nice luxurious yarns that I only use every once in a while where it has all of my handmade in and it has all the Etsy buyers that I, um, Etsy sellers that I bought, and also all my Madeline Tosh, because that just needs to be on display. And so, I think I put it there, and I loved it. So I'm very excited to put it back and just admire, and maybe I'll start on a project with it. I am working on a pair of socks still. I posted this picture on Rav or Ravelry, yeah, Ravelry, and on. Um, Instagram a while ago of this. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, this is the one I did. I did. This, just not the finished sock. I have two, obviously, but this was my sock that I finished. Yay! And this is a zombie apocalypse socks. I started it when The Walking Dead started back up, and then I dropped it so I could finish another thing, and I am going to show you guys the finished object pretty soon. Um, but this is the sock that I finished. Oh, did you hear Miro? The cats are fighting. That's their fighting noises, is this adorable little noise. So there's my finished sock, and I'm almost done with that, but I'm starting to get the itch to start on something new, so maybe I will start with my new yarns and start something new. Um, other than that, oh, I could show you guys the other thing I got too. Um, this is from Julep. I don't know if you guys have heard of Julep, but it's a really good nail company, and they also have some skincare things and all sorts of just really nifty ideas and you can join them and be a maven and then you get discounts and you get everything sent to you with no shipping so they sent me a promo saying that I should go ahead and shop for this specific thing where if you're a maven oh, there goes my leg gotta move it um, that if you're a maven that you can shop online at their secret store and so of course I thought well yeah I'll shop at your secret store you got it so I bought nail polish remover and I thought I was only getting one of these but they sent me two so that was pretty cool and I got the pump that comes with it so now when I decide to take off my fake nails that I've got on right now aren't they pretty they're sparkly too you see them they're kind of grown out I already need to go back um but nail polish remover so that when I do decide to paint my own nails or my toenails I can remove the colors that I've got instead of waiting until they all chip off and then I got, I don't remember adding this to my basket. I think they threw it in there. Wait, let's look, let's look. 
Um, a pinch. Yeah, they threw this in there. Huh. Cool. Um, this is the matte top coat so that I can have matte nails. So that was exciting. It's got a little ball at the bottom and it looks kind of cloudy, so that was cool. Huh. Should have checked that in the first place. And then I got the Freedom Top Coat. This is to make my nails all shiny. And I guess it makes it um, look like gel is on there and it dries really fast, so I'm excited to have this. Did you hear them? This is, this is every day. They do this every single day. And then the other thing I got was Nail Therapy. It's a base coat and treatment. It's got a lot of different vitamins like vitamin E, vitamin B5, and marine algae. Um, it's to protect my nails from splitting and discoloring and any kind of um, peeling, things like that. And my nails do that really frequently. That's why I like to wear the fake ones is because my nails are horrible. And so hopefully this will help when I decide to take these off. And then I got their In a Pinch set. And they gave me this cute little bag. And inside of there I have a couple of nail removing, or nail removing, nail polish removing in a pinch polish remover things. They gave me quite a few of these. Let's see if I can even pull one out. It's a nail polish remover pad, just on the go. So I thought that was kind of cool if I decide to go somewhere and I need to change my nails that fast. I can. And then I had their oxygen nail treatment. This is something I have used before when my nails were really brittle, especially after when I take off my acrylic nails. And this makes the biggest difference. It is awesome. My nails grow faster and they feel stronger. So I was glad to get a refill on that because the other one that I have, it's about halfway done, or a little bit less than halfway. It's like, I don't know. But it's starting to get a little bit syrupy and thick and it's not really panning on right so I was excited to get a new one because it worked really really well when I was using it and then I stopped using it and all of a sudden it's having problems so I don't know and then I got their hand cream rockstar hand cream it's called it's a hit and it smells just fantastic and it's kind of cool the cap doesn't come off but it has this little hole and then a little bit just comes out of the hole it's kind of gross sounding I apologize that was really disgusting that's what she said. A little bit comes out of the hole. Sorry about it. Anyways, um, so yeah, smells good. So that's all the stuff that I bought. I did buy a yoga mat. Not thrilled with it, so I'm not going to show you. Um, other than that, I think that's it. I have a couple more packages coming, but those will be for another day when I actually receive the item and I actually try it. Um, other than that, that's it. So if you like this video, you're welcome to like it down below. There's a little like button, press like. You're also welcome to subscribe if you would like. It's very easy to subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram or Ravelry. And I want to say Twitter at Nick Nacaroni. It's spelled the same way it is down at the bottom, only without a space. And, oop, white nickel. And, yeah. Just let me know if you guys have any questions or if you'd like to see any of the yarns again. Um, maybe I can show you guys what it starts to look like once I knit it up. So maybe we can do a knit along or something like that. Let me know your guys' ideas and I will talk to you soon. Bye.